This week marks 12 years since we first got together, which yeah. is wild. <laughs> uh, but we thought it would be fun to go back and think about, you know, those early days yeah. and just kind of reminisce on some of those early memories together. So welcome back to our channel and welcome if you are new here. Um, we are a married lesbian couple. We've been together for 12 years, 12 years. if you can believe it. Um, I'm Katie. I'm Steph. And little Theo, our pup, is on our lap. He likes to have naps on our lap yeah. while we film. Um, and yeah, we thought we would dive into some like fun old memories because this week marks 12 years since we officially became girlfriends, which is wild to think about. Yeah. That's such a long time. That's like a third of my life. Yeah. That is such a long time. <laughs> that is a long time. And while it seems like just yesterday, it also seems like we've been together forever. So yeah. it is kind of weird to think about, but also makes total sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. It's like, I don't remember a time without you. No, I don't think my family remembers a time before Your family you. tells stories all the time where yeah. they're like, oh, and Katie, you were there. And I was like, like no, I was, I was in high school and my dad is like, yeah, remember that time we went to New York and did this? And Katie, you remember? <laughs> I was like, for the millennium. I was 15. I <laughs> I was 11 in the year 2000. <laughs> we were not dating. Yeah, no. it's true. I don't think anyone remembers I mean, it's, not being it's cute, but yeah. yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. No, I think looking back now, it's, yeah, it's wild. So I think if you think back to those early days, like, did we think we were going to be here 12 years later? I don't know. I mean, I remember in the beginning talking about it and saying, like, I could see this going the distance yeah. kind of thing, but it is cool to like be here now and look back and be like, yeah, like we kind of knew, you know? I definitely think we knew. Yeah. It, something felt different. Like I had been yeah. in relationships before that and, you know, even ones that were, you know, a couple years long and stuff and yeah. nothing felt the way it felt with you, like right from the start. It yeah. just, I don't know, people always say when you know, you know, and like, oh, love at first sight and all that stuff and like, I don't know. I think there's a bit of truth to it. Like I definitely had those feelings think, yeah. right away and yeah. I I never thought like oh, you know, this could be fun for a little while and then I'm fine with it ending. Like I never felt like that. I always yeah. just thought like I don't ever want this to end ever. Um oh, which obviously <laughs> is a good indicator of wanting to spend your life with someone. So Yeah. Yeah, I think it makes sense. It makes sense that we're here 12 years later. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. yeah. So we thought we would chat a little bit about just like how, yeah, how we met, how it felt to like, you know, get to know each other, how we kind of went from that to friends and then dating and yeah, why January 21st is our 12 year anniversary, like why that's the day that we celebrate as like our dating anniversary. Yeah. Um, so let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. So we definitely met in an unlikely place. Um, <laughs> and unconventional too, because we yeah. met like in real life where mm -hmm. I feel like now anyone who's met maybe like five to seven years, like in the last five to seven years, most people meet online. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like we're like a rare couple, like of all the couples we know who actually met in real life. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I definitely understand why people um, prefer meeting online because oh, for sure. we would have probably saved a month and a half yeah yeah of the like w yeah. uh, <laughs> are you queer do maybe i yeah. maybe we're do just we friends like just, yeah. are is there something is it, it, yeah. are we just becoming best friends is there something more <laughs> who knows yeah, maybe i can cut turn all her. the bullshit when you're just online because it's like you that's the intention of yeah you, you just know it. and then yeah those questions are answered right from the very start whereas yeah we had the fun game of navigating all of that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Which is fine now, because it worked out. Better. No, I mean, I love the story of how we met. I love yeah. how we met. Um, so yes, the, yeah. the unlikely place that we met was a dance studio. Yeah. And I say unlikely, unlikely for you. For, yeah, because, <laughs> you know, I had spent a lot of time in hockey rinks and around a lot of queer women in general. It would have made a lot of sense had I met my partner in one of those places. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I decided I wanted to go and branch out a little bit, do something out of my comfort zone, go take dance class. Um, <laughs> and lo and behold, one of the instructors at this adult dance studio was Katie. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, I mean, it was unexpected for me too, because 
I grew up like as a performer and in the world of like fine arts and dance and I had never met any queer women that I knew of. Um, a lot of them have come out a since. A lot of them have come out since. But at the time. Yeah, yeah but at the time. Um, and so, yeah, like had I been around hockey players, maybe it all would have been different, mm -hmm. but I just didn't know that world like at all. So obviously I never expected to like meet someone um, at and at work as well. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. But yeah, we just sort of saw each other around the studio to start. You were like coming to classes that were like right before my classes and stuff. And then you came to one of my classes and we just kind of like, yeah, like saw each other around at first. And like, mm -hmm. I definitely remember noticing you. Yeah. You said you definitely remember noticing me. But it took a while to like, get to be friendly yeah with well, each other. because it was all drop-in classes too so yeah it wasn't like I was in an eight-week program like a jazz right. a jazz class where like I was seeing you every Tuesday night right um, it wasn't like that at all it was yeah, always sporadic and like didn't know when we were gonna run into each other kind of thing yeah yeah which made it more fun because every time I saw that red hair walk through the door <laughs> I was like yes <laughs> I get to see her again tonight and you know maybe say like Hi, how are Three you? Words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. yeah, it did take a while. It was like it was a sl it was a slow burn for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then because we met the beginning of December and then like the holidays yeah. and like it yeah, so it wasn't until January that we really like got to know each other and like yeah. became friends, but then as you said there was still that like unknowing of yeah. yeah, like I didn't know if you were gay. I had no context at all of yeah. like queer women. Um, and obviously didn't feel like I could just like ask you that at the beginning. Right. Um, I stalked your Facebook because that was what you did 12 years ago, but there was no like concrete evidence. Right, because 12 <laughs> years ago, you know, we weren't all super open. Some of us aren't still. Some people were 12 years ago. I yeah. was not. Yeah. Um, so I did not make it clear. Yeah. So uh, by any means. And neither did you. So. Well, for me, yeah, I'd never dated a woman before and I wasn't like, closeted but I was questioning my yeah. sexuality at that time but yeah I'd never dated women and so there would have been no evidence for you to find yeah <laughs> um oh no I was pretty convinced that Katie was straight like right off the bat and I just yeah. figured okay well you know it's harmless flirting what's the worst that could happen and then but what's I the figure best that could happen? well yeah I mean the best case scenario is exactly what day. happened uh, <laughs> but I just thought you know at the very least like we're becoming friends and I'm totally good with this so yeah yeah so that's how we initially met and then we started hanging out a bit and talking a lot texting yeah. and yeah you gave me your number which i, I remember was like mixed signals i didn't know what it meant and i was like is this a friend thing because it easily could have been a friend thing but also if you were interested and wanted to like give someone your number that's also something so i remember being really confused by that but yeah then we started texting and then yeah texting a lot like we yeah. were texting like way more than friends text right um so but that should have not... been the first indicator but also we were both like yeah best friends <laughs> <laughs> like texting like day and night like all day long yeah um yeah <laughs> yeah and then eventually eventually just got to the point i guess and sort of yeah admitted that we had little crushes on each yeah. other and it was like oh my gosh like you've been feeling this way too and I've been yeah. feeling this way the whole time and it was cute to finally get to that point where we could like yeah oh, okay it was a huge, yeah it was a huge relief because we were both like okay like you know I, I'm pretty sure she feels the same way but also but also like, you don't, like you don't want to just come out and say that and then be like oh no not at all like yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, I was just being nice or, yeah I just want to be your friend yeah yeah but luckily we both felt the same way and yeah that that part of it worked out nicely yeah which was great yeah um and then we were coming up on your birthday yeah and i think before that happened maybe i had invited you to like a party for my birthday yeah, like yeah. before we kind of had that discussion and then once we did have that discussion like pretty quickly from there it went to like okay now we're dating like yeah we're getting together and then my birthday was still coming up um because yeah it's the third week of january so like those weeks in january yeah. it was kind of like us going through it all and then yeah it got to the point of like okay you're gonna like meet my friends and stuff yeah so um, then it was like okay well, well what do what we say we? yeah how do we introduce yeah. this um, and i think it obviously if, wasn't just like a casual thing yeah and i think even if that wasn't happening we still would have had that conversation of yeah. just like what is this because yeah you're right it felt very 
like real yeah. in the very beginning. It didn't just feel like we're just like messing around, having fun, like getting to know each other, whatever. Like yeah. it felt like this is a relationship. Like yeah. even though it was my first relationship with a woman and I remember at the beginning being like, I don't know if I can date a girl, like I'm so scared. But so quickly it became obvious that it was like, no, this is like a real thing and it yeah. feels very natural and easy and like it's, yeah, this is a relationship, like we're together. Yeah, and it's like we want to be together all the time. Yeah. Um. It. Yeah. Yeah, so then I guess... Would it have been on my birthday? I guess I saw you, I think, the morning of my birthday. Or maybe the party was the day after my right. birthday. So it was the day before that we had this discussion. In and I can't around. Remember. I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> 12 years ago was a long time. But, but I, yeah. But I remember having that discussion of like, yeah, how, how are we going to introduce you or something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it was, was decided like, yeah. that I would be introduced as the girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. And it was easy for me to just be like, this is my girlfriend, P.S., yeah. if you didn't know that I liked girls. Yeah. So we quickly changed the um, birthday invitations to say <laughs> birthday slash coming out <laughs> party. Um. <laughs> That's a joke. But it was it was kind of a joke that that was my coming out party. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. So my birthday is our anniversary, which I really like because birthdays... Easy can, to remember. I'm just kidding. <laughs> easy to remember for you, yeah. But birthdays can some kind, like, sometimes be a bit tough, you know? So having that be a day yeah, that we also true. get to celebrate is nice. And I like having that we that we get to have two anniversaries, too, because we have our wedding anniversary yeah. in December, and then we have, like, our dating anniversary in January. Yeah, lots to celebrate, yeah. so that's always good. Yeah, and it was, like, a whole extra five years of being together before we got you married. You can't just so throw like, that know. away. I know. That's time. Like, when you just celebrate your wedding anniversary, yeah, there's five extra Put in all that time. We deserve to get credit for it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so pretty much from the time that we kind of admitted those crushes um, all the way through to the birthday party, and then after that, like, we were joined at the hip. Yeah. We wanted to spend all our time together. Yeah. Some might say that's unhealthy, but No, but I do think when us. you know, you know. And, like, we just immediately knew that this was a relationship, and we yeah. wanted to put the work in and see where it went, and we both, I think, knew that it, you know, had the opportunity to, like, go the distance and yeah. be together, and we were both looking for that. We were both looking for long-term relationships. We both knew we wanted to get married one day. Yeah. Like, we, we knew that. We wanted that. And when you find the person who, like, fits and it feels right, then I think, why not go for it? Yeah, yeah. and we were both very open with each other. We communicated, you know, what yeah. we were feeling and we were, where we were at and, and what we wanted, what we wanted. In the future. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's also why it it became a serious relationship so quickly because we were open with each other about how we felt with it all yeah. and you know we felt very much on the same page you know it yeah. wasn't like one person diving into the deep end and the other yeah um, being like scared of their big feelings yeah we both, we had, both had very big feelings, feelings <laughs> and we were like both fully invested right from the start yeah. so i think it yeah. yeah it was good it paid off i yeah. think that yeah, my advice for anyone is when you, you know, like to just not hold back and not be afraid to like go for it because yeah. it obviously is very scary. Love can be very scary and it's very vulnerable and like you're putting yourself out there to get hurt a lot of the time. Um, but if you don't go for it too, like you lose out on the opportunity to have, you know, this. Like yeah. I think if either of us had been scared, like if I'd been too scared to like come out and like yeah. try this, even though I knew it was what I wanted and I already knew that. Or if you'd been too scared to like go for it, or if you just assumed that you know I wasn't gonna be interested, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean like, it was your first so relationship, much. and I easily could have guarded my feelings and just yeah. thought, well, you know, like she's just experimenting, or like this is just gonna be a short-term thing. But right. I was open about yeah. that I wanted a relationship, and that I felt like this was, you know, we had a future, and yeah. And just the way that I felt, I told you the way that I felt, and yeah. and I'm glad I did that because I yeah. easily could have held back, and um, and then who knows? But yeah, yeah, it's true. So I think if there's any lesson in this, it's to just like go for it if you can, and just be brave and put yourself out there. And yeah. if something feels right, lean into it and see where it can go. And and communicate, yeah. right? Communicate yeah. with with the other person. Find out where they're at, yeah. you know. Be honest. Yeah. 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 The worst thing that can happen is that you both 
are hesitant to like tell each other how you feel and then you nothing happens out. because of that and yeah that would, yeah yeah and you lose out on something amazing and then obviously the best thing that can happen is you find your forever person if that's what you're looking for yeah. and you get to look back 12 years later and be like remember how cute we were <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, we thought we would just have a little chat about that and we're excited to be celebrating 12 years. That's such a long time. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it, but I can't wait for it to be 20 years and I know. 30 years and 40 years and so on. Yeah, so, it will happen sooner than we think. Probably. <laughs> time flies. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed so you catch all our future videos. Hopefully yeah. Theo will make more of an appearance in the next one, but he does say hi and yeah. bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>